safe game review hi everyone and welcome to today's video where i'm gonna be reviewing some more 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 of your save games this is our ninth save game review ladies and gentlemen and we have some doozies for today so yeah back at it again boys with another save game review you guys love this series and i love doing it and there's just so many save game submissions man these save games are all from november 13th that's right today for me it's january 31st you guys will be seeing this about a week from now or something like that but uh there are uh more than a hundred save game submissions man hundreds maybe but uh yeah the ones uh that we have today i'm very very excited for man we have a mewar to rajputana to barat campaign which i misspelled right here uh that's something interesting we need to take a look at i don't think we've had an india campaign in save game review so far but uh i'm definitely very excited to check it out a very powerful playthrough uh one of the best militarily focused playthroughs that you can do after that we have a serbia uh campaign in 1583 very exciting we haven't had i don't think a that tiny nation in save game review so far and of course a classic as always a byzantium to roman empire run right here which uh, i know you all love to see just like i do as well so yeah those are the three campaigns for today without further ado boys let's jump into this first mewar to rajputana to barat campaign by lackey gigar in uh 1667 and let's see if this player said anything about this campaign so lackey gigar right here says mewar to rajputana to barat achievement run which i have successfully done already very nice was a fun campaign the goals have been accomplished overall it's around the 1660s 1670s and i'm in an interesting war versus the ottomans all right well now that we know that we can go ahead and jump in all right right here we are in our little uh, barat campaign and right off the bat i can say that uh i'm quite <laughs> All right, well, the Ottomans of Coalition, you, uh, what I was about to say is I really enjoy the borders right here that you have in the core of your nation. Obviously, you know, pure India subcontinent borders right here, as we can see, and then pushing further on into Persia right here, into Khorasan or whatnot. And uh, then we have some colonization or maybe conquest, just regular conquest done over in Southeast Asia, Bharati Malaya right here, something in Sulawesi uh, near uh, New Guinea or whatnot. And uh, are there any other colonies? No, I don't think there are. Of course, we will get into this war versus the Ottomans later later uh yeah it's a coalition where the ottomans declared on this player either way we'll jump back into that uh first obviously let's take a look at the great powers list right here number one on the great powers list even more powerful than these absolutely massive ottomans right here almost 700 dev above them that's pretty good and no hegemons or whatever uh let's go into the country view right here we have uh one two three ruler who's not that good level three four and four advisors okay that's pretty decent at this point uh probably with this income you could definitely run level five advisors although these guys guys are like really really expensive man comparing just a regular florence run where these guys would cost like two ducats <laughs> the level five guys would cost two ducats this is like really really expensive so i'm guessing uh not a lot of advisor modifiers but uh yeah very good advisors right here going over into the government tab lots of accepted and promoted cultures obviously since uh mewar you know western Aryan is the primary culture group right here so all of these would be auto accepted but lots of other ones accepted as well 60 out of 60 mac absolutism we don't really care about this this is not a world conquest so i'm not even gonna mention anything here going over in the diplomacy tab these are rivals allied to the commonwealth oirat pretty uh, decent oirat and uh sunda as well maybe for some naval help down here but uh yeah in a punitive war with the ottomans yarkin brunei and transoxiana which is uh you know it is what it is that's all i have to say about that in the economy tab making very nice income 455 ducats a month uh gold mine you got two gold mines actually you start off with one uh as mewar let's take a look at it right here not developed up to 10 i'm guessing it never was it never was developed up to 10 because these right here would be higher right and then we have the other one which is uh where I'm, I'm assuming this one down here and it hasn't been developed at all either so a little minus on that but really money isn't a problem man making very nice income from everything uh pretty high interest four loans that's really high interest rate oh my god and uh, lots of ports as well but actually you know not that much most of these are recently conquered so economy is good man gold could be better but the economy is decent uh not making that much income from trade obviously since you don't have that much stuff over here and the main trade node is gujarat obviously that is uh you know fitting but i wish this was a bigger share in tech ahead of time in every category and the ideas are quality economic offensive admin trade really good idea group picks i really don't have anything negative to say about that uh everything is looking really good right here in the mission tab it, it sucks that hindustan and india man they have such uh such tiny mission trees these nations you know they're
are such a pain to form and it takes so long to form i wish there was a bigger reward than just their um what you call it national ideas which are really good but either way only two policies active they're pretty good i would activate force artillery uh the public road these two once you complete trade this one once you complete trade as well so uh yeah over here uh not over guff cap not over guff cap but definitely could be a little bit better things looking pretty standard in the religion tab obviously we're hindu but no need to convert a lot of the stuff that you conquer as hindu since it is pretty tolerant so we're good right here shiva active for expansion obviously very nice uh combat width is 34 let's take a look at the armies if they're split they're actually looking pretty good let me take a look at this right now uh no the armies aren't pretty good yeah army composition is pretty bad i'm gonna have to give you a minus on that decent professionalism i guess very nice combat modifiers pretty good morale very good discipline and uh some pretty nice generals as well taking a look at the navies while we're here a pretty massive stack you <laughs> Why are the light ships in this? <laughs> Seize the Malacca Galleon, obviously. Well, yeah, why are the light ships in here? Uh, going over into the subjects, we have some Merc, uh, uh, Merc, sorry, uh, trade companies. We got the Philippines one, which is obviously in the Philippines. The Pacific Company, which is, which one is that? I actually don't know uh, that one in, uh, in what you call it, in the Polynesian Triangle? I don't know. I have no idea. The Rajasthani, the company of the Malaccas, that's this one right here. And the Indonesia Company is the one in Malacca. So yeah, trade company is not that bad. Uh, over in the Estates, you have, very high crownland ownership but because uh, you, you don't need that much max absolutism or any absolutism at all you could uh, be affording to give uh, these guys some additional privileges so a little minus on the gold on the army composition and on the uh, estate stuff for now but aside from that things are looking pretty nice let me take a look at the government reforms right here rajput kingdom excellent 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 actually hmm, expand royal court yeah it's pretty good curtail yeah pretty cool as hindu uh this is a unique one very nice pretty good pretty good uh pretty good pretty pretty good pretty good yeah i have nothing negative to say about the government reform so things are looking very very nice in this campaign obviously i can still nitpick here boys this is just my opinion don't take anything i say as uh you know dogma or whatever but um yeah even though your goals are accomplished i'm still gonna give you a little bit of minuses on the stuff that i just mentioned taking a look at the marketplaces all of the relevant ones have been built obviously have they been upgraded to trade depots yes they have good job right there courthouses in literally every single province almost so can't fault you on the gov cap either no universities but no big deal right there uh some army buildings some upgraded army buildings workshops literally in almost every single available province which is quite a lot in india so good job on that let's take a look at the temples uh yeah temples are pretty nice some of them have been upgraded and uh, manufacturing is really good with manufacturers as well so uh, no no negatives on the buildings right here everything full stated right here trade companies right here perfect on that front and let's take a look at the development of some provinces right here yeah a lot of provinces that are super super highly developed so a uh, good job on that too bad you didn't say which achievements you were going for but uh yeah if you accomplish the man i don't have anything negative to say about that so a very very nice country right here taking a look at this war versus the ottomans seems like you're not too involved like this war just started and that's when you decided to end this run but uh no big deal if the ottomans declared really what you're gonna be looking out for here is their cavalry obviously you guys know that they have massive cavalry stacks they went with quantity and quality which means they're super super dangerous half a million troops right here man this is gonna be a nasty ottomans to fight especially over in persia man this is like the worst or the best depending on how you look at it border you can have with the ottomans all of these mountains right here you guys are just gonna attrition to death over in these provinces man but uh you know i i, I would love to play through this war if i'm being honest man ah i wish this was a different type of series where i actually continue through your run or something like that you know that's not a bad idea actually let me know if you want to see that continuing your eu4 runs you guys do a little setup for me the first 50 years i do the next 50 years after you guys yeah i just thought of it let me know if you want to see it but uh yeah looking look uh very fun right here uh but aside from that man this game is looking pretty good aside from the army the gold and the estate nitpicks that i've had so far oh uh, so yeah i think that's about it i think we've looked through everything the only thing that's left right here is for us to look through the timeline here we are as mewar let's go on this speed as always so very nice expansion annexing some subjects right here almost fighting gujarat let's see is there a war versus malwa no just some minor guys send right here annex okay that's looking pretty good there we go finally ate up malwa i wonder who the allies are over in india probably bengal and vidge or something like that pushing through the vidge pushing through malwa even more pretty slow expansion in the early game i gotta say i would be a lot more aggressive than this as bewar uh and then as rajputana thanks to those uh, national ideas and stuff like that you definitely can afford to be a lot more aggressive but yeah now once the big guys are the only guys that's left now is when it gets annoying over in uh what you call it over in india but yeah war versus baluchistan i didn't think you conquered this that early if i'm being honest yeah still only big guys left delhi is the one being chopped down bear 
Gerard right here, John Poor, someone like those guys could be subjects at this point. Slow expansion over in this region as well. There we go. John Poor is gone. Maybe did a war versus Vig? No, not really. There we go. Berar now is gone as well. A little more expansion over here. Fighting Delhi, taking out quite a lot from them. And there we go. Vig is blown up as well. Andra is most likely a subject over in this region. More wars versus Vig. Rajputana form. Very nice. And this player already has this down here. So parallel expansion down here, man, without colonizing just regular wars. Very nice. Madurai, definitely a subject right here. More expansion. There's Barat formed. Bengal being eaten up by Barat and Archon. Vig is the only thing left down here. There's the border with the Ottomans on lock. There we go. Pretty on lock on here. And there we go. Vig disappears. So very, very nice gameplay, man. Very nice gameplay. I love concentrated campaigns like this where you focus on a specific region with a certain goal in mind where you don't blob out mindlessly. Uh, I wouldn't personally expand it down here as Barat or a Mewar to Rajputana to Barat campaign. Maybe as some other Indian nation. But if it was relevant for your achievements, uh, kudos to you. Very, very nice campaign. Even with the minuses on the gold, on the army composition, and on the estates, I'm absolutely loving this. I always love to see an India or a Hindustan. And uh, with all that said, I quite enjoyed reviewing this campaign. And even with the negatives, I'm still gonna give it a 5 out of 5. Let's move on with the next one. All right, let's move on with our uh, second campaign of the day, the Serbia campaign by uh, Ventagi on uh, February 21st, 1583. Let's see if Ventagi said anything about this campaign. So Ventagi says, Serbia for the Lazarus achievement. Very nice. That achievement requires you to own uh, the entirety of the Balkans, by the way. Made Ottomans not exist. Very nice. And played for a while after that. Struggled with the admin and diplo points throughout the campaign, but had no problems with money. Uh, Yeah, you know, struggling with admin and diplo is something that you do uh, as Serbia in the first couple of decades. In fact, I just did a Serbia guide a couple of days ago for you guys. Uh, But uh, yeah, those uh, struggles are pretty much present in uh, every Serbia campaign. Either way, let's see how your struggles or non-struggles were. All right, all right, here we are in our Serbia campaign. And once again, just like the previous India campaign, uh, the first thing I have to say is a very nice, very clean borders. The only thing that's bugging me a little bit is that maybe you should have Cyprus and Rhodes. But aside from that, very clean and very nice, man. I don't know if I would expand up here as Serbia, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we'll get into that later. It's not like it's a negative. But uh, yeah, this Serbia is looking very, very nice, man. Uh, jumping into the Great Powers list right here. First, we are number one on the Great Powers list. Very surprising. I have to say that is quite surprising. I did not expect Serbia to be number one. I thought like Mughals or Russia maybe. But yeah, Russia kind of lost here. Or Ming, if they exist, that would be number one. But uh, awesome job on being the number number one great power man almost uh yeah almost 200 dev a little more than 200 dev just above france which is looking pretty powerful and has a colony as well but uh yeah jumping into the country view right here we have czar stefan the fifth right here a 522 pretty good right here learning a uh, level 3 3 and 1 advisors this guy's a half cost obviously um no need to run a level 1 advisors right now unless this guy was specifically a morale guy that you can't upgrade you should be uh plenty rich by now but uh we'll see what that's all about later in the cultures lots of cultures accepted and promoted obviously Obviously, I definitely bump up Hungarian here as well. But uh, yeah, seems pretty standard right here in the Diplomacy tab. Allied to the Commonwealth, Burgundy, and Austria. Pretty good alliances. Let's see, the Commonwealth is looking pretty strong. Uh, Austria is looking pretty strong. So um, yeah, uh, everything is good right there. And lots of subjects, man. Wow. I actually didn't take a look at this when we opened up the you know coalition view to see the full country borders. But really, really good right here. We got Nitra, which is being annexed. So you're about to get another gold mine. Very nice. Aquielia is a subject as well. Very cool right there. They're Naples, a pretty big Naples too. All of these guys are vassals, by the way. Crimea, pretty nice size. Crimea as well. Syria reconquered their course from the Mamluks. Awesome. A lot of these things I do go into in the guide. So if you want to know more about Serbia, definitely watch my guide that I dropped a few days ago. And uh, Tabriz as well, a very rarely seen nation. But uh, good job on that, man. Uh, uh, even more powerful than I thought you were. Good job, good job, good job. Going over into the economy tab, inflation is pretty high, pretty standard with so many gold mines. Uh, and uh, not making that much money for 1583. I would expect about 100 ducats right now but uh yeah depending on your army size of course this could be very good uh gold mine not developed you gotta be kidding me it was developed though okay it was developed i can notice that by the admin and mill development here it just depleted uh maybe this player didn't notice that de it depleted so uh not too many negatives right there very nice income from vassals and pretty good war reps from uh russia and brandenburg which i assume uh you fought for something yeah presumably for this right here so good job economy looking pretty good for what you own right here into the trade tab obviously you won't be making too much income from trade with a nation of this size and this position right here maybe if you get like syria and naples to transfer trade power over to you but even then you know it's uh eh, and i actually didn't take a goods produced and i actually didn't take a look at goods produced in the previous run so my bad about that in the tech tree obviously yeah this player already said they were struggling with admin and diplo points not something i'm gonna knock you too much for that is how you 
start off as Serbia, but at least you're level uh, actually ahead of time on Miltech, so pretty good right there. Opening up with quality, influence, economic, depending on your goal, of course, this is pretty good. What I would recommend, obviously, uh, maybe not for a Lazarus specific run, but uh, definitely an expansionist run like this would be actually Aristo religious. Aristo, I think, is very good for the uh, Serbian national ideas and Orthodox Eastern nation and the Cav stuff, but uh, quality is uh, definitely my second best mill group recommendation for your opener as Serbia. Influence actually not even finished wow and you got that so long ago dude you get the second idea group in like the 1480s and it's the 1580s so man i know you were struggling with those points a lot but i can't excuse this you've had this idea group for a hundred years man economic not filled out all right i can understand that uh and the idea is pretty much everything completed except northern trade right here which of course you will complete once you take over stuff over here so we're pretty good on that as well in the decisions and policies no need to do anything here obviously we're not going to be restoring byzantium as serbia i don't think so at least uh in the stability expansion under gov cap that's pretty nice right here not positive stability but uh eh, we'll deal with that in the religious stuff see this is why you wanna unless this is trade company man this is why you want religious I, I i pretty much recommend religious for any orthodox nation dude i'm not gonna lie but uh yeah in the military tab over force limit interestingly enough combat with this 29 taking a look at the armies 26 4 9 actually pretty good yeah actually pretty good what i would do is 29 4 uh, let me take a look at mill once again yeah right now i would have like 29 4 18 that's what my armies would look like right now if i'm being honest so decent decent army setup uh you know that's all i have to say about that very good morale pretty good discipline uh okay professionalism yeah things are looking pretty good general is not too powerful but uh yeah i like the combat modifiers a lot into the subject tab all of these guys are pretty much loyal not transferring trade power by the way which of course they could you could make a lot more money with this and you got the levant crimea and anatolia companies i wouldn't trade company anything as serbia at least not in this portion of the world man maybe something over here if you ever expand that way but i would simply full state all of this full state converted yeah none of this is stated all of this is straight company pretty much so definitely negative points on this but listen i can pick as much as i want this player went for the lazarus achievement they got it so good job on that but now we're looking at the other stuff you know just like in the previous campaign so yeah definitely don't trade company this stuff as serbia man uh see you got this from Kiraman, i presume this could definitely be stated for free this was probably georgia or imereti and this two right here this was all from subject so you could have gotten that uh capital is constantinople or to Tariq Grad or whatever so uh yeah pretty good right there transferring trade power you know okay merchant setup looks uh mm, you don't need the guy in ragusa there man uh you'd probably want to run it from aleppo to alexandria once you get a bigger full hold there but yeah uh actually you you don't really have a better place to put it so okay army setup two very nice galleon transport stack and a pretty good light ship stack uh protecting trade from piracy or whatever and then finally going into the estates estate stuff looks pretty perfect to me i don't have anything negative to say about that did you take this mission you did you did very nice okay so yeah definitely a lot of things to nitpick right here maybe not a lot but uh it's a little bit on the armies and a little bit on the non-stating stuff and stuff like that so uh that's looking pretty good aside from that serbian despot strengthened expanded maintained organized uh aristo meritocratic yeah pretty good government reforms right there i don't have anything negative to say about that okay economy is good let's take a look at how good it actually is first let me take a look at autonomy autonomy is nice let's take a look at development as well yeah lots of provinces pretty high dev good job on that let me try and see where you spawned stuff if you even did spawn stuff i'm guessing this player actually didn't do the uh the belgrade mission with the uh, hungry right here otherwise this would have been his capital and developed maybe right there but uh yeah this province is very highly developed so yeah i'm guessing that wasn't done but let's go into the buildings right here marketplaces and all the provinces check check very nice production buildings uh you could definitely build up a lot more of these let's take a look right here so all of these cloth provinces all of these salt ones this iron one these cotton ones and uh sorting by uh improvement amount yeah pretty much those are the ones you should build them in churches you could definitely get a lot more churches in as well a couple of army buildings here and there looking pretty nice and uh yeah some manufacturers active as well so for what you have man buildings are pretty good buildings are pretty good and uh now that we've taken a look at everything let's jump into the timeline finally go into this speed let's see how is the opening okay so he did do the hungry thing huh okay and then a war versus the ottomans interesting no fighting bosnia or herzegovina i'm guessing he didn't fight bosnia uh in order to not get the alliance with hungary broken more expansion no biz popped out bulgaria yes popped out morea albania 
Albania, pretty good now expansion over there, Bulgaria annex, more expansion at the Ottomans, Albania maybe an ally here or a subject, there we go, they're annexed as well, Bosnia exists, Morea's still alive, further pushing into the Ottomans, the Mamluks expanded over here, Aragon actually did something with Naples, yeah, more expansion over here, even more expansion over there, these latest few wars are really, really blobby, and uh, yeah, looking pretty nice right there, more expansion into Hungary, massive war versus the Mamluks, I'm guessing we're gonna see a war with Russia right here pretty soon, there we go, expansion into the Pannonian Basin, Syria right here, Caraman, yeah, very nice, yeah, expanding over there, pretty good campaign, man, pretty good campaign, I do have to say, uh, there are some things I can nitpick, of course, like the stating stuff, and the armies maybe a little bit, and then the gold and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, listen, you accomplished your goal, that's all I have to say about that, uh, I did, you know, I had a little bit of stuff to nitpick about the previous campaign, and I still gave it a five, but for this one, man, I, yeah, this trade company stuff really bothers me, if I'm being honest, <laughs> even though the run is super, super nice, I don't want to be too harsh by giving this, like, a 4.5, uh, but I don't want to be too generous by giving it a five either but uh yeah honestly i can't i can't give this a five man i'm sorry I, it's just that trade company stuff really bothered me a lot and uh not picking up religious also bothered me and then this not filling out of the influence stuff as well but uh really really good campaign man you should be proud good job on the lazarus achievement uh this is gonna be a 4.5 out of five from me let's take a look at our final campaign of the day and with that done let's jump into our final campaign of the day this byzantium to roman empire run by matt on February 12th, 1765, the longest campaign we've had today. And let's take a look at if this player said anything about it. So Matty right here, which isn't in my Discord anymore, apparently says, Byzantium to Roman Empire, it took me a while to finally create Romans. It was my first time. Okay, so we gotta, you know, judge it uh, based in a, in a different way that this player has never done before, maybe. But I enjoyed this campaign like no other. Probably the longest I played till around 1750. Yeah, 1765, but uh, you get the point. Let's jump in. All right, all right, here we are in our uh, not-so-little Roman Empire campaign, and if I go right here, I can immediately notice some border war, most notably these things down here. Why would you take that? Who's in a coalition? This is Castile. <laughs> we got some provinces not taken from Hungary over here, but, you know, this player is taking care of that now. Germany is in this war as well. Separate war versus Liège, so still doing a little bit of expansion, and uh, definitely border war over in uh, Great Britain, London not owned. Obviously, you know, with the latest this decision to form the Roman Empire. You don't need London or York or anything like that. So uh, a lot of players like to uh, cheap out when conquering Great Britain. Of course, as you all know, the true Roman Empire uh, run ends about here if this is uh, Hadrian's Wall. Uh which I think it is. But uh, yeah, going over into the Great Powers list, man, 10,200 development. What else did you expect? Germany and Brazil exist, which is pretty cool, and an economic hegemon as well. What else do you want me to say about that? That's looking absolutely perfect. Going over into the government tab right here, we got Imperator region, Demetrios something something. These guys are Greek, obviously. The air is German. I guess they're unavoidable, man. These guys are unavoidable. But yeah, level five advisors in every category, looking very good right there. Uh, in the government tab, obviously a lot of cultures promoted and accepted i really don't get why uh, all of these ancient cultures are auto accepted as the roman ones i feel like you know all of the iberian uh french italian i guess maybe romanian too or something like that all of the modern romance cultures i feel like should be auto accepted as the roman empire instead of these ancient ones but um that's just nitpicking about the game uh going over in the diplomacy tab allied to the u.s <laughs> all right uh the timurids which are pretty big themselves shun and uh gujarat you don't really need these alliances, but uh, nothing negative to say about that. Going over in the economy tab, making absolutely bonkers income. Lots of gold mines. Almost all of them seem to be developed, except for Manica and Hunt. I think the initial three ones or initial four ones are definitely developed. Uh, making lots of income from tax, production, and trade. I would expect you to make more income from trade by this point. Wow, only five merchants? That's actually very little for a uh, run this long. But uh, yeah, economy is very good and not a very big income uh, from trade. Uh, by this point, you could make a lot more from from trade uh but 80 percent uh 85 percent goods produced that's super super nice in the technology tab 10 years ahead of time in every tech very nice right there let's take a look at the ideas quality religious very good diplo admin pretty good offensive trade quantity yeah uh maybe 
maybe I would mix up the order in some of these, uh, make it another way around, but excellent idea group picks for a Roman Empire run. You definitely want Diplo and Admin and stuff like that. So, uh, and religious as well, especially if you're starting off as Byzantium right here. So very, very good right there. No negative things to say about the, um, about the idea picks in the missions. Pretty much everything has been done right here. This is still the biz mission tree and stuff like that. So excellent. I do think all of it is completed if I'm looking at everything correctly in the decisions. Yeah, I think we have everything that is relevant active right here. You definitely want to activate like all of these if you could instead of uh, these two. Yeah, yeah. These three are better than the two ones you already have. This one right here, dude, you could definitely activate. Wait, why isn't this done yet? No big deal. But uh, yeah, everything is looking pretty good right here. A uh, little bit over GovCap, but obviously expected for a Roman Empire run. In the religion tab, 142% religious unity, almost everything converted, just some Protestant stuff. I guess these were the latest conquest, 100% patriarch authority. Very cool. In the military tab, more than 2.6 million force limit, 1 million troops active. Combat with is 40, morale is 8, discipline, everything right here is looking pristine in the military department. Good combat modifiers, excellent generals as well. And, uh, you know, if the stacks should be 40-40 by now, they... Are they 40-40? I guess if they're split, they're 40-40. So, yeah, they might be split, honestly. Hmm. Actually, even if they aren't split... Yeah, everyone, guys, I, I swear I'm gonna make a video on army composition, man. But, you know, let's not nitpick too much. This is the Roman Empire after all. No subjects. And in the estates, a lot of religious still active. Very good crawling ownership. 15 max absolutism. Zero current absolutism. You don't really need it. You're already the Roman Empire. You're done. You're not gonna be doing a world conquest right now. So, yeah, those things look pretty nice right there, man. Let me take a look at the government reforms. The Roman Empire tier 1 government reforms. Super, super strong let's take a look at the cultures as well yeah not a lot of culture conversion going on i guess the game is uh, already done but roman empire uh the tier two government reform i guess disappeared or something if you change the roman empire so yeah i don't know nothing bad to say about it even though it doesn't exist this is pretty good pretty good theme system very nice restore the senate super cool strength and parliament obviously if yeah, i had the senate uh this one is very nice uh unique one right here pretty good pretty good and pretty good so yeah everything very nice in the government department let's take a look at the states and territories right now actually almost everything full stated very nice man perfect good job you could be trade company a lot of things over here but really there's no need uh something i did want to nitpick on is the merchant setup right here genoa is the main trade node but this player is not collecting in venice anyway so yeah i don't know how do you make money off that i guess you don't yeah these 40 ducats are just sitting there if i'm understanding correctly so routing a lot of things to venice you could even be collecting over here if you have more power so definitely a lack of merchants man you definitely want to pick up trade oh, actually you have trade and still there's so little merchants yeah maybe Maybe this is nothing to fault too much, but a uh, good job on the states department right here. Going over into the um, let me take a look at the dev. Are there some nice development provinces? Rome is at 120, Constantinople, Reckensburg. What, what's been going on over here? Yeah, these are late game conquests, man. A lot of these German OPMs deving stuff. My game is actually lagging real hard in this tab right here, but uh, yeah, super super high dev. So many provinces with more than 30 dev, and even more with more than 20 dev, man. Look at this. This is absolutely incredible. Good job on that. Let me take a look at the buildings tab right here. Mark marketplaces you haven't been focusing too much on that yourself but a lot of your boys have <laughs> that you conquered it seems but uh yeah pretty good on that know where they can be built trade depots obviously all of the relevant ones have been built and stock exchanges as well good job on that courthouses in literally every single province have they been upgraded yes they have good job some universities as well obviously the hre guys have been building them quite a lot barracks yeah there are barracks uh these guys yep as well workshops pretty good right here uh these as well excellent even though there are so many more that can be built there's really no need churches looking pretty good yeah you weren't doing a a lot of construction yourself man i'm noticing that don't think i'm not noticing everything in the initial core byzantine lands not a lot of development but in other provinces that you conquered there is just so many of those things but uh yeah manufactories as well looking pretty nice and yeah the buildings apartment is uh is pretty good let me take a look at furnaces have they spawned yet yes they have right yeah okay very nice uh jesus christ i forgot how good they are because i never play with them but uh yeah pretty good in the uh in the building department right there as well so i guess the negative things i could say so far about this campaign are the wonky trade setup i guess you could be making a lot more money from trade man i just wish you got more merchants somehow maybe yeah maybe i would trade companies safian tunis and aleppo here for this run crimea too possibly and then you could get a couple of additional merchants from that then collect in venice to route in different ways that's my little negative thing right there and then the army setup i don't think it is how it's supposed to be unless they're yeah unless you merge them man unless you merge them if you do merge them i guess it is good enough yeah yeah so i guess those are my negative things that i can say about this campaign and uh yeah a little bit of the border war bothers me as well but it is a roman empire run man uh really nothing bad i can say about that i know i'm not taking a look at a lot of the great projects in these campaigns but uh i feel like it's just uh, so many things to look at specifically it's not really relevant but uh yeah let's take a look at the timeline right now let's start
start off with speed four right here there we go conquering epirus let's see the war versus the ottomans there we go boom very nice bulgaria popped out expansion into naples really really sweet right there let's see where is this player gonna push further more into the ottomans there's bulgaria albania is going a bit hungry pushed a little bit down here serbia may be a subject here too boys uh let's see that there we go yeah serbia annex so serbia that was definitely a subject that was bulgaria more expansion here more expansion here we got syria even expansion up here let's see how this expansion goes man is this player gonna push through both sides equally yeah no movement in um what you call it in italy lots of movement up here and down here there we go massive war versus the mamluks didn't take cairo either wow britain is really powerful this campaign uh they've conquered a lot of france there we go more expansion over here got the nice color too uh iraq i'm presuming is a subject let's see yeah some expansion in italy now as well further pushing here and here yeah more expansion into italy so definitely simultaneous expansion here and here and down here too which was unexpected there we go pushing into morocco further eating up italy uh i wonder yeah that doesn't i think i messed up hold up i thought you could change map modes while in this uh, interface but apparently you can't but yeah there we go eating up italy very nicely man britain is still super powerful finally a push into iberia some subjects here as well i can definitely notice that morocco is still alive almost the entirety of italy eaten up already so that's pretty good slowly pushing into castile as well so now the main focus is entirely over in this region france grew a little bit uh burgundy is still stable i don't know what happened here to be honest uh there we go castile is almost done italy is almost done aragon still exists they may be a junior partner or something like that or an ally if nothing is going on with them we'll see if they disappear all at once but yeah there we go italy is pretty much finished finally pushing into france right here uh into britain as well yeah aragon was definitely a subject as we can see they got insta annex so yeah now france is the only thing left to do the only expansion is over here provence and france left provence might be a subject here pushing into austria a little bit into hungary if i saw that correctly there we go some border gore expansion over in germany maybe through subjects or something like that or the age ability to take unconnected provinces or something like that expansion into britain as well massive expansion into the lowlands into germany and we're about to get our end date right here after that final war versus some of these guys right here so yeah very nice roman empire run i if i had to nitpick a little bit of things that would be the border war and the trade stuff like that so uh yeah i think after watching this run it is very nice but um it just doesn't feel like a five to me man so the only five for today is gonna remain that little india campaign at the start the serbia one got a 4.5 and for this one as well i'm feeling a 4.5 and that's been our final campaign of the day so yeah boys those have been our uh, three save games for today man uh very nice campaigns uh i kind of want to see a pretty bad campaign one of these next few videos so we can laugh and stuff like that but uh yeah very good runs by all three of you guys you should be proud of very cool campaigns and uh, i'm looking forward to reviewing some more as always if you want to submit your own save game which i doubt will get reviewed since we have so much just drop it in the save games for vid channel over on discord but uh yeah let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this and if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video